Hey guys, this is Calvinosaurus 3 and this next review is on the Bandai Creation. Um, it's either 7 or 8 inch, I think. Um, most likely 7 or 6. One of those three. It's in that range. Um, Bandai Creation Hedora. Now, this figure... Um, it's just awful. But at the same time... It's really cool, which is kind of weird when you think about it. By the way, yeah. You may notice that um, some of the features that you'd normally find on Hedra, Hedora are, like, missing. So, yeah. Okay, one thing I really like about this figure is how he really, like, matches up with your um, uh, Bandai Japan uh, 1968 um, Godzilla, as opposed to the Bandai uh, Japan standard size Hedora. This is way more accurate to the movie version, as opposed to this. So, yeah. Now on to the things I hate about this figure. Okay, one. I hate how it doesn't really have, like, this bubble sack that's on the back of the Hedora, um, Bandai Japan Hedora, and how the fact the tail is so small, as opposed to this long tail. Obviously, the um, Bandai Japan Hedora is way more detailed than this figure, but it um, is really kind of lacking in its size, which this figure makes up for, but it lacks in detail. Why can't they just make one good Hedora figure? Good size, good detail. Why can't they just make that? I don't know. If they have, please let me know because I would like to get one of those. That would be awesome. But anyway, yeah. Um, paint job wise, a few little green highlights here. Looks like someone just took a marker and like just took uh, like a red marker, yellow marker, a little bit of green marker and just kind of went whoosh, 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 all around his head. Um, uh, as opposed to like this, um, paint job is much more nice, but relatively it's just basically the same. So, yeah. And I think the eyes are bigger on this one than they are the other one. So, yeah. Articulation, um, no points of articulation actually. Oh yeah, another thing I hate about this figure is how they don't cover up this seam. Now, um, this is from Wave 4 of the Bandai Creation Godzilla series. This is also from Wave 4, and look how much detail this Destroya figure has. As opposed to this, it's like they made a really good um, Godzilla 2000, a Destroya, and um, uh, Godzilla 1968, but when they got to Hedora, they just said, screw it, we're just going to... We're just going to do a, like, a fast job on this and won't bother to cover up the seam. It just looks really bad. You can, um, tell where they, like, glued it together and stuff. Like, on the arms, um, kind of on the tail. Of course, right here, that's really obvious. But anyway, yeah. Um, so no points of articulation. Um, size comparison, I already kind of showed you the size comparison, so I'm going to just skip through that. Um, where I, where you can get it. Okay, I got mine from a comic book store, but you can also get it at your local Toys R Us. You can get it at eBay, Amazon, about 10, 11, 12 bucks. Um, if you buy one for 20, you're getting ripped off. Um, you're really getting ripped off, so yeah. Um, other than that, um, it, 
it is uh, if you just want to add another Godzilla toy to your collection just want to add a cheap one don't really care what it looks like and if you just want a Hedora figure that will um, match up with your um, uh, Godzilla 1968 oh yeah that reminds me as with the sizing problem with um, uh, Hedora the Bandai Japan Hedora and the Bandai Japan um, uh, Godzilla 1968, the Bandai Creation Hedora and Bandai uh, Creation Godzilla 1968 have the same problem. Kind of weird, isn't it? Well, anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for this review. Um, I have one more review for today, and um, so um, stay tuned. Um, bye.